Hey guys, this is Grant Evans, your favorite Utah realtor. Today we're here with Jordan Anderson, our favorite Utah lender. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, if you're moving from a different state and you need, need to obtain a loan for a house, we'll talk about different situations like that. So, well that's Jordan here. Let's say someone uh, lives in Florida, okay, and they kind of want a fresh start in life. And so they move to Utah, mm -hmm. they get a different job. How then would they want to go through by getting a loan and buying a house? Well, one, first they have to be a jazz fan when they move here. Of course. <laughs> Just joking. But uh, the biggest thing is that they're going to have to um, obviously get a job. And then once they have that job, uh, they need to just show their letter showing how much they're gonna make and then at least by the time we close we have to have a full month's worth of pay stubs so if you get paid monthly we need one if you get paid every week we need four if you get paid every other week we need two of them so as long as we have those and we can show that you've had a two-year working history it's just like any other loan it's easy to do Ready to go? We just need to have you have that job and get going. Okay. Let's say someone from that person from Florida, instead of getting a job, they start their own business. Now, how does that work? <clears throat> yeah. So coming out and starting a business, uh, like any any other loan, whenever you start a business, you need to have two year history of being uh, a business owner. So if you were a business owner in Colorado or wherever you're moving from and you come to Utah you still need to show that you're a business owner here in Utah and how you're going to continue the business that you had in Colorado and it's going to continue to grow in Utah. Awesome so let's say that someone is transferring jobs let's say they have a job at Adobe somewhere else and then they get a job in Lehigh at Adobe then what happens? Yeah. So again it's kind of like if you're moving out here and you're finding a new job uh, we just need a letter saying, hey, they're transferring out. They are going to continue to make what they made here, or they're going to increase, or they're going to decrease, whatever the company works out, and then right into the house. And on that case, you don't need a full 30 days of pay stubs here because you know, you're doing the exact same job, the exact same company, just in a different location. So uh, you don't need to wait until you get those pay stubs. You can get going immediately. So it sounds like the, the biggest things that people need are pay stubs and like showing proof that you're gonna make however much money. Yeah. You know? So it, we want you guys to be safe like as, as lenders. We want our clients to be safe with knowing that they can afford a certain payment. <laughs> That's kind of why we ask all these things. So if you guys are moving to Utah anytime in the future or, or whenever, contact me and Jordan Anderson and we'll get you contacted or figured out with a loan and see what we need to do to help you get into home as soon as possible.